Hello and what is up YouTube? My name is G3Iron and today uh, we are showing off a bit of our visualization project that I have been working on throughout the spring and a little bit here over the summer of 2019. So pretty much the concept of this particular project came about when searching through uh, different databases and different websites that provide different stats for Path of Exile. And pretty much uh, the need that I saw in the moment was to be able to compare specific affixes and specific roles on specific item types and then simply to compare those item types against one another with their respective roles. So in other words, what I was looking to do was say, is a weapon better for rolling maximum night life as an inventory slot? Was a weapon, whether that be one-handed or two-handed, better or more um, a bigger contributor in percentage-wise uh, for its roles than, let's say, a piece of jewelry like a ring or an amulet? And then how would that amulet compare to, say, a helm and its tier one maximum life roles versus a piece of body armor versus I don't know, boots or a belt. So I wanted a way to quickly compare between different inventory slots their top tier roles of a particular affix. And right now, yes, you can do that. You can go on the PoE Wikia, you can go to several different websites, uh, some of which we've presented on our playlist for PoE tools, and go and simply look up what different stats are and what those stats are in relationship to one another. However, for those of us that don't want to have five to six to, well, there's nine, ten inventory slots, depending on whether or not you want to add in abyssal jewels or regular jewels on the passive tree. You know, there's a lot of different itemization uh, options for you in Path of Exile, and that's great. We all love that. But if you don't want to have a tab open on a web browser for each of those different stats and then compare individually, I really wanted to have a tool that was essentially a one-stop shop whether that be a database or something that was searchable, something that was interactable, where you could simply go in and, as I've got here on display, just really quickly visually uh, understand and highlight which item was the best item for that particular stat affix, which item was the second best, and which item would be the third best, which item type would be the third best, fourth best, etc. So that way, when you're making decisions, when you're making a build, or when you're designing a build guide, or when you're simply looking at a character, let's say you roll or you know, a tier one um, affix onto something, be that a suffix or a prefix. Let's say you roll a tier one roll onto something, you're going, hey, this is really, really good. But it might not actually be that great in the grand scheme of things or in the meta of things, because maybe you got a tier one roll uh, that's a relatively low flat value on a piece of gear that's like fourth or fifth best for that stat. Whereas there's a whole bunch of other stats that can roll much better percentage wise when they're compared with other items in other inventory slots for different stats. So for those of you who aren't tracking with that, if I just sound like I'm talking a bunch of garbledy gook, that's totally fine. For those of you who are tracking with me, another way to think about this is to simply say, if you've got an inventory slot and you want to evaluate the value of each stat that is in that inventory slot and that is on that particular piece of gear and you want to compare and contrast it to another piece of gear that you've got, you need to have some sort of control, right? You need to have something that says um, intrinsically the value here, yes, might be bigger on item A than on item B, but is it actually easier to acquire say, a roll on item A versus item B, in which case the higher tier roll on item B, especially if you're min-maxing, is actually something that's going to be much more valuable because it's easier to acquire on A, it's not as rare a roll, and simply the item on item B might be a lower flat value, but its rarity and its min-maxing capability might make it much more valuable in relationship to builds that are looking to min-max the hell out of a particular stat. Whether that's life, whether that's resistances, those are of course common stats. But maybe something else like stun threshold, maybe it could be something like life gain on hit. Maybe it could be something like an elemental damage source or a flat damage source or a chance to impale or a chance to crit. Lots of different affixes obviously in Path of Exile that we all make builds around and that we all love playing around with. So this is a project that I've been working on for some time 
it's not a project that I'm spending, you know, days and days and days laboring away on. I come over here and I mess with this spreadsheet whenever it is uh, that I've got time and I want to mess with the spreadsheet for fun. So what this spreadsheet looks like is simply going through each and every single one of the different stats that are available in game, sorting out their prefixes, their suffixes, um, as well as occasionally I'm sorting out if they've got a, a list of corruptions, I'm also sorting those out. Corruptions don't really have a tier in and of themselves because a lot of corruptions are just single available corruptions. You don't necessarily hit a better corruption tier. So I've actually stopped sorting those. Um, and a lot of the times I'm not even bringing them over from the various sources and databases that I'm pulling all this info from. So we've got prefixes, you've got suffixes, you've got elder prefixes and suffixes, you've got um, elder and uh, uh, shaper and delve suffixes and prefixes. So all of that stuff across the board comes over and you essentially go through and delete, or at least what I'm doing, is essentially going through and deleting all of the non-tier one roles and then just moving it over so that way it corresponds with its appropriate prefix or suffix. So right here, for instance, on, what are we on? Amulets. And this uh, this page appears to be done. It's got a marked D on it. Some of them that have got a marked D on it still need some visual updating. But anyway, so if we wanted to look and see what's the top tier role that amulets can roll uh, on their base. They can roll, let's say, adds uh, uh, flat cold damage. Okay, The top tier role that they can roll is at level 77 and it adds 17 to 22 to 34 to 40 cold damage to attacks. So that's the value. That is the top value. Now, that doesn't mean that there aren't other values that you could roll. You could roll a lower tier for that, but that means that it's the top one. So if we want to compare, let's say, an amulet to a quiver, you can go look at the quivers and say, okay, quivers adding cold damage to attacks is 6 to 9 or 13 to 16. So the amulet clearly beats out the quiver in terms of its rolls, in terms of its um, uh, numerical value. Now, in terms of its rarity, we're not sure if the combination of uh, particular prefixes that are available on, on amulets is actually more or less valuable because when you look at the prefixes that are available on a base quiver, there's what? There's like 10 of them here? No, four minus 11. There's seven. There's seven of these uh, global prefixes that can go onto a quiver. Whereas on an amulet, there's what? Four minus 18 is 14. There's twice as many prefixes that are available on an amulet. So yes, an amulet might indeed be uh, a lot higher roll for that particular roll that you're looking for, but it's a lot harder to hit because the pool is a lot bigger. So yes, higher reward, but also much um, lower chance to roll it because of the rarity of it. So you can kind of compare, hey, do I really want to go all out in terms of crafting this amulet that's going to give me a higher numerical value, although it'll be harder to get, or do I want to go for this quiver, which will give me a lower total amount uh, of flat cold damage to attacks, but uh, it'll be much, much easier to acquire. So these are the sorts of, of questions that you can then go in and compare. Now, for those of you saying, oh, but Iron, you haven't really solved the problem of tabs because like you're still flipping between tabs on your Excel spreadsheet. You are absolutely right, Kermit. I give you credit. You have noticed a flaw in our design. This is just going to be the back end or the database. It's not really a database. It doesn't function like a database. It's an Excel spreadsheet for crying out loud on, on Google spreadsheets. It's, it's not a database, but I'm calling it the database. So this is just the database. This is just the back end side of things. This is where all the information gets stored. Then we've got what was on display here a moment ago, the master list, which of course shows you uh, the particular prefixes, which the affixes, eventually this will be, this particular column will be filled up with every single stat type in the game. Every single one in the game will be here. And then it will correspond with its top tier role for every single item type. And you can see here from our master list, we've got a lot of item base types <laughs> inside the game. So you got rings, you got unset rings, you got belts, quivers, amulets, boots of all of their various kinds, body armor of their various kinds, two-handed weapons of their various kinds, one-handed weapons of their kinds, shields, helms, and gloves. Okay, so you've got everything all across on this master list that's going to be filled in with every single stat. So then once we've got a master list that's compiled of every single stat in the game, you can simply use this single sheet to go through and see what is the top tier, what is the number one best, most valuable item base for the particular stat that you're looking for, be that a prefix or a suffix. 
I might do corruptions. I might go insane before finishing this. I'm I'm just now been messing around with just inputting two stat lines um, onto this master list, and it is crazy. And I am still not done cataloging uh, all of our database. I think I got down to what like halfway through the body armors, and then I pretty much lost my mind, and I just actually had to go play Path of Exile rather than playing spreadsheets of Exile. But anyway, I've still got a whole bunch left to do. You see, none of these have got the D uh, except for the gloves. The gloves have gotten the D on them uh, for Dex Int because I did those the other day. But otherwise, I'm just basically working backwards now and I'm a little bit under halfway done in terms of cataloging uh, all of the stats. I've got all of the stats pulled from all of the various uh, databases that I can pull all of these. It's just, uh, you can see right here, under one hand, one handed weapon, swords thrusting, like entombing. Here is, here's the, the that's the top tier stat right there. But I've got to go back in and, and delete all of these cold, and then here's the fire one. I got to move this up anyway. So I'm turning into slippery Jim eight here. So. <laughs> Basically, I got to go through and finish all of these uh, and, and bring them up. But the, the goal is is to actually have a fully functional, individual, one-stop shop where you can go and truly compare which item is better for its numerical value and which item is necessarily going to be rarer or tougher to hit if you are say playing solo self found or if you're just looking to craft a piece of gear yourself we will then color code this page um, at some point to show which are the best uh, corresponding actual stats for their inventory slots for their item base types and then on top of that at some point what I want to do and I've, I've been messing around with different um, pictures of this of course I'm using paint because that's what I use because I'm a terrible artist I don't have any kind of Photoshop skills if you do that's great I would love your collaboration on this it's tons and tons of work so I don't expect anybody else except myself to put any work into this um, so working on paint here this would be the visualization of the project this is pretty much a, a, a not even a proof of concept this is just spitballing brain brainstorming here but this is what I want to have I want to have a visualized picture an image that shows each and every stat and how it corresponds to the various inventory slots that are available on the character selection screen in Path of Exile, and then rank them. Simply show via a legend, hey, if you're looking for adds cold damage to attacks, what does um, that look like? And I already can see that I've, I've, got, I've got a... A, uh, an error right here because these one-handed weapons it looks like I've just pulled the global uh, cold damage which is different than all of these other ones it looks like for for two-handers it's just flat cold damage being added versus cold damage to attacks which is on everything else so I've actually got to go back and even change my example but for the sake of discussion this is what we're looking for uh, in a visualization package something that says hey here are all the different inventory slots that uh, that simply don't offer stats for this particular prefix or suffix and here are all the slots that do offer stats for this particular prefix or suffix and then here's how they rank you can see that here towards the bottom it's just best inventory slot affix for cold damage which again this is not accurate because this is global cold damage it's not cold damage to attacks but anyway we'll go back and fix that at some point you can just see based off of this there's a ranking that's formulated now at this point you might say Okay, Iron, this is kind of like a duh discussion because, of course, two-handed weapons are going to have the biggest single flat amount of numeric value because part of the reason why you're using a two-hander, you lose out on the ability to use a shield or to use a second one-handed weapon or to use uh, a... Uh, a shield, a one-handed weapon, or a quiver, or a quiver, right? You lose out on that ability. So that that may be intuitive, right, to say that, but then there are going to be plenty of circumstances where two-handed weapons aren't necessarily the top tier and where we're actually going to go, oh, I'm surprised that that thing that I thought would be the top tier isn't actually the top tier. For instance, it was fascinating to me to see that gloves on all bases provide 6 to 9 uh, to 13 to 16 cold damage to attacks. That was fascinating to take a look at and just know, hey, gloves across the board simply can add cold damage to attacks. Jewelry and rings are way, way better. And one-handed weapons are way, way better in comparison. But gloves do indeed add cold damage to attacks. So if you're not using unique, if you're just using a rare in that slot, and you want to min-max the heck out of your cold damage to attacks, you can do that through gloves. Many of you are already sitting here as veterans and going, I have no idea how this would be useful. This seems lame, and I'm not sure how I would use it. Some of you, though, some of you, and these are the ones who I'm really showing this off for and sharing this for us here in the G3 community, some of you are going, oh my goodness, this would help me with my calculations for this build, or this would help me as I'm theory crafting this other build, or, oh, this would finally answer questions like, what's the total amount of added flat 
X damage that I could add, or, oh, what's the total amount of hypothetical HP that's available off of flat stats? You can answer those sorts of questions by using a tool like this and filling it in. Now, some of those questions you can already answer using Path of Building. Some of those questions you can answer simply by looking in, in Path of Exile. Some of those questions you can answer simply by using uh, databases and by using various web searches, right? And of course, a weakness of this tool is going to be that it's going to be uh, stat dependent at any one point in time. In other words, this is manually inputted. So if there's ever a change or there's new stats that get added, hopefully <clears throat> the number of stats that ever could get added through a patch wouldn't be so large that it would just be like redoing the entire project all over again to add those in. Hopefully those are incremental additions to the game that I can simply go back in and manually add. So that's, again, another um, weakness to this tool. This tool is not all-encompassing. It's not the, you know, the end-all, be-all of all Path of Exile tools. But hopefully what it is is a nice visualization tool that helps us answer questions when we are comparing items and inventory slots and their values when we come to actually evaluate the uh, various roles that are available, the stats, the, the prefixes, the suffixes, the stats that are available to us in Path of Exile. Whether we're building a particular character, whether we're tweaking somebody else's character. I've got so many people who ask uh, in our Build Help channel all the time about, hey guys, here's my POB. Can anybody help me here? I think a tool like this would be fantastic to send to somebody to say, hey, just go look at this. How far off is your glove from the tier one slot for these stats that you need? Oh, and maybe you're prioritizing tier one slots in your glove, but they're actually much worse stats than what would be available in your boots, whereas your boots, you're prioritizing tier one stats that would be much better on your gloves. So flip-flop your priorities for your gloves and your boots. Maybe it'll be cheaper on both ends, and you'll actually end up with a better pair of gloves and a better pair of boots. Those sorts of very pragmatic questions that are very just everyday practical questions that we all have when we're evaluating the price of a rare, whether it's for our own use or for reselling, this kind of tool I think would be very, very helpful when evaluating that. Yes, there's still a place for, for, for simply throwing something up on the market or for price checking it using a macro or for price checking it manually using a website all sorts of tools that are still available. This will simply be another companion tool, hopefully, that will be helpful to at least one other person. It's already been helpful to me, just even as I've been looking and learning more and more about stats that are on various items inside Path of Exile. So I, I'm hoping that this is at least helpful to at least one other exile out there, including myself. But if it's helpful to no one else, eh, I at least had fun messing around with spreadsheets. So thanks so much for watching. If you've got feedback, ideas, or suggestions, or you want to collaborate on this sort of thing, if you like inputting data into stuff, I'm happy to have people help out. Uh, the more hands that are working on a spreadsheet, there's always a greater chance for mistakes to get made or for a change in direction for the project to go. So I'm a little hesitant to just throw it out there and say, hey, everybody, come help me with this thing. So if I seem a little hesitant, that's why I'm hesitant. It's because I don't want to see something get turned into something completely different that is not the purpose of the tool. But that being said, if you are interested in helping out, you can drop me a comment down below. Don't leave your email address or something because that's, that's, that's just terrible. What you can do is you can email me. So drop me a comment that you're going to email me, and you can email me at the email address that's down below in all of our video descriptions. Let me know that you want to help out on the POE Stats Visualization Project, whether that's helping out with Photoshop and displaying stuff and making a UI that's pretty, if that's helping out with the Excel spreadsheet. If that's simply encouragement to say, hey, Iron, I don't even give a crap about the POE Stats Visualization Project, but I want to see it when it's done. Okay, great. You can let me know that as well down below in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope today is the day a mirror of Calandra drops for you right after you get done watching this video. Thanks for watching that video. If you'd like more information on any of our discussion points today, you can see them down below in the video description. If you'd also like to join our Discord or support our Patreon, you can do so with the links down below. Thanks again, and big shout out to all of our Patreon supporters.